Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little bit since I went ahead and did a recording on here, but I wanted to try something a little bit different with my recordings. I know I've been doing these ones where I just kind of take my time and try and get a lot of these videos out and stuff, and they usually do fairly well, but whenever it comes to, you know, actually getting content out now, it's just like I'm, I'm falling behind a lot, and I, I need to... I need to try and work a little bit more to get more content out to you guys because at this point if I keep running the way that I'm doing then I'm only going to be able to get one video out every two weeks and that's definitely not going to work especially because live streaming kind of sucks on my computer. So instead of that we are going to be posting as many videos as I can because I mean that, that that's what everybody wants anyway and also I just it, it's a lot easier just to get some decent content out to you guys without having to do like 400 different fancy editing styles and stuff and uh, some some of it is a little annoying to me and I want to kind of go back to my roots where it's just like you know it's something that I find interesting I want to share it with you guys and I wanted to go ahead and bring it to everybody so we're going to start off at least a little bit tame we're going to start off with something you know that's pr pretty decent to the eye and uh i'm just kidding it's restricted videos on twitter on twitter <laughs> i saw this twitter account they're always on here posting just random videos and stuff and i have no idea why everybody likes it so much and a lot of it is just like crazy clips like this clip is actually this dude smacking the crap out of the donkey and then the donkey eating his foot which i think is well deserved in fact i think the donkey should have probably bit his dick off instead but i mean that's just my opinion but there's just a lot of videos like this that also say age restricted so i guess we can call this one the age restriction challenge try not to get age restricted if you guys want to participate then uh keep watching the video like comment and subscribe let's take a look at some of these vids Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. Oh, boo-hoo. You're not getting in the club tonight, Junior. You're not going to get in tonight. Yeah, no, get out of here. This is the reason why that these security guards are just like, I hate my life, dude. This is such bullshit. I don't want to be here anymore. Come on, you kids, just go home. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah. Yeah, the robber is just sitting there and like everybody's getting on the ground or giving up their phones and wallets and stuff like that. This one guy is like... I'm not going to give up my spot. I'm not going to get give up my phone and my wallet and all this other shit. Yeah, you can come in here and do whatever the hell you want, but I'm going to chill right here. I can only imagine the robbers probably telling him, get on the ground, get on the ground. No, mm-mm, uh-uh, no. No, you aren't going to take my phone. I'm going to put my phone down, but you're not going to take my phone. I'm going to go ahead and light me up a cigarette right now. That's right. No, you, you're not going to touch my phone, Mother Flippa. I'm going to smoke a cigarette. That's that's all you're going to see me do. I don't care what you're doing. What, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I want to have a beer with this dude. This, this dude seems like that he would have be... Or he would be the perfect person to have a beer with at the bar. I, I would really love to have a beer with him. <laughs> You want to try that again? You want to try that again? Oh! <laughs> Get out of the road! I'm walking here! That's what he was saying. Or at least that's what he was trying to convey whenever he just beat up that dude's hood. To be honest with you, whenever people are doing stupid things and not paying attention and you get honked at, I mean... I don't know, who was more in the wrong here? Was the dude driving more in the wrong here? Because, I mean, of course as a pedestrian, you, ha you gotta stop, but... I think pedestrians really, like, think that they're in the right for everything. There was one time I was driving down this roadway, and there was a crosswalk that was right in front of me, and this lady wasn't at the crosswalk. It was her, and then, like, uh, two other family members, I don't remember, and I think a kid. And they weren't even at the crosswalk yet, and I was going real slow, and I was going right by the crosswalk, and they looked over at me, and they kind of darted up real quick, and they were like, You're supposed to stop! I'm like, bitch, you're not in the road. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, I would have stopped if you were coming into the road, but you weren't in the road. You just want to be pissed off for no damn reason. So I just kept driving. They weren't even there. So, yeah, I mean, I think pedestrians also need to lighten up a little bit because you're not entitled to be in the middle of the damn road. But just keep in mind, if you do go in the middle of the damn road, you could get ran over.
No way. Wow. Dumped him out. How did the cop not notice? The cop didn't notice? Was he not, like, right on his tail? He had to have been coming, like, around the corner or something like that. And then, like, well, of course, they might not have seen the door. I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But I feel like the cop should have, like, recognized that. And if not, well, then the cop is just completely stupid. Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland collapsed. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. Yeah, it's very, it's very sad. Two people were... You, you know able to escape from this and uh one of them just got out of the hospital so there were two people that were still alive they found two more people from what i heard at least by the time that this has been recorded they had found two people that were stuck in a truck and of course they recovered them and then they're still looking for the rest of them but nine people fell off that bridge because they were doing construction on it, it it's a very it's a very sad thing and the the other thing too is that it, it's interesting because my grandfather watch this get built he's from baltimore maryland and he was just retiring there and they had just or they were just about done finishing this up or they finished this up maybe a few years before he retired i don't remember the full story on it but yeah he was here whenever that bridge was built before it was now known as interstate 695 and just seeing it collapse now and like seeing a lot of the stuff happen it's just it's crazy like it it was a uh, it was erected 47 years ago, and it lasted until now, until a ship that apparently has had issues before ran into it. And I don't understand how they can still run a ship like that if it still has all these goddamn issues, but I mean, I don't know. That's, that's a whole different video. Maybe I'll talk about that in a different video. I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my God, what is he doing, praying? Is he saying, please don't eat me, please, for the love of God, please? No, no, I... Humans are friends, not food. Well, I mean, certain humans could still also be food, but I feel like that, uh... oh God, something is about to happen, I think. Uh-oh, he's <laughs> just toying with him. Okay, his last moments. I mean, yeah, I mean, that could happen, but... Uh... Why would you live stream from a plane? Oh. Okay, so now that Live Leak is gone, I think this is where most of these videos are coming from now. Like most of them are just like, oh well, Live Leak's gone, so let's just start posting them to Twitter. I don't even interact with Twitter except for watching this shit now. <laughs> Alligator knocks out the trapper after he's been ta being taunted. Uh, that's a great ride, and there it's a pathway through, you know, part of the Everglades there. And they got there's gators everywhere, and they'll be on the road. And Why are you smacking his face? Yeah, I would get pissed too. Well, I'm doing a ride in November down there. Yeah. Don't don't just don't just sit there and smack his nose. How would you feel if someone came up to you and they were just sitting there smacking your nose like, oh oh okay yeah you're trapped oh yeah you're trapped oh yeah look at that mm, mm, mm. yeah no that would be annoying. Damn. Yeah, he sucker punched him. Jesus Christ. Only down in Florida, I'm telling you. CNN reporter meets face to face with tribes of cannibals. Or tribe of cannibals. Okay. Oh. Maybe I, I'll take this off right now and then. Okay. Just thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, human body parts. Okay. Why are people on that side of the river so afraid of the agori? 
Should we eat the living? Shall I show you by eating my own flesh? I see. Um, why, why do you... I will cut off your head if you keep talking so much. This may have been a mistake. Maybe we just, like, somebody distracts him and I just leave. Let's see where it goes. We can be polite. I can be very polite about it. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, nope, nope, nope. I'm not going to ask any more questions. I'm done. I'm not going to deal with it. Uh, no, I, I don't, I don't want to hang out with these people no more. The Angori are uh, some uh, scary-ass people, apparently.